<sighs> Today we're going to take a look at a new single card RDA, the Flavor RDA. Yes, that's what it's called, the Flavor RDA, FLVR. Um, this is straight out of Malaysia, where I am, and this is how it looks like, right? We, we'll get to the details in the close-up, close-ups. I'll show you how it works, and then we we'll get back to FaceTime, and I'll tell you some interesting stuff about this RDA, how much it costs, and where to get it. All right, guys, so here is the packaging that the Flavor RDA comes in. Very nice, simple packaging right there. Uh, serial number sticker at the back. Pop that open, you get two plastic bags. One contains the Flavor RDA, and the other contains a bag of spares. In that bag of spares, you're going to get uh, two Allen wrenches, different size, of course. One is for the uh, removal or insertion of the 510 pin, and the other is for the post or deck screws. And you get an additional, uh, you get a stainless steel non squonking 510 pin and two grub screws for the build deck. And here's a closer look at the Flavor RDA. It is a single coil squonking RDA, rebuildable squonking atomizer, made in Malaysia. The construction of this is 316L stainless steel, media blasted with a Delrin drip tip included. At the bottom, you have FLVR flavor, serial number right there, and 100% made in Malaysia. Comes pre-installed with the stainless steel squonk pin, both the uh, insulator right here at the bottom pin, and also the insulator inside the deck, which is easier to see, and they're both made of Altum, not Peak, as you normally would have. 22 millimeters diameter, 21.7 with the included drip tip, 15.8 without the included drip tip. So that's pretty short for a uh, even for a low profile RDA. It's got side adjustable airflow controls on two sides, and each of these air holes, uh, <laughs> air holes, each of these airflow holes is 1.3 millimeters in diameter. Right, you got three of them here and three of them right here. It's a single piece top cap and here's how it looks like on the inside. So it's 316L stainless steel media blasted. Here's how the deck looks like. Dual O-rings and then you see your Ultim insulator right there. Very high uh, post for the positive and also the negative and the airflow basically comes right through it at a very small angle about uh, 11 degrees downwards and meets right in the middle right there. Here are your juice wells and the squonk pin is situated slightly higher than the base and if you take a look at the screws they are hex screws and usually you would see RDAs having a lip on the side here to prevent the coil from uh, getting uh, to prevent the coil from slipping off uh, this one does not, but it has an indent, if you can see right here, right? It's got a nice little dimple right here and on the other side as well. And that actually serves to do the same thing, right? It just makes your coil placement a little bit more secure, especially when you're using very thin round wire. It always usually wants to just run away, get away from the screw. So having that indent will help the round wire be a little bit more secure. Now this is going to be a very restricted lung uh, hit RDA. So when I first got this, the build that was recommended that they put for me uh, was something similar to this 3.0 millimeter uh, inner diameter coil, six wraps, except it was nichrome and this time around I'm going to be using the same type of bill but I'm going to be doing it with a stainless steel uh, wire. I have tried a fuse clapton bill in this and it works okay uh, for smaller fuse clapton coils. This is not meant to be a cloud chucking RDA by any means. So get the lead strapped. Pretty secure. You want to cut it as flush as possible, right, to prevent any possible contact with the top cap itself. 
feel with your fingers to see if there's anything sticking out and you may also want to just push the lead back inside then I'm going to reposition my coil towards the middle comes up to a 0.5 uh, 0.45 ohm uh, this one and it is a stainless steel wire so I, I want to use it on a Mac mod and it's actually not going to be a 0.45 ohm when I actually run some current through it, right? So it's going to reduce, the resistance is going to reduce. And that's one of the reasons why it's great to use stainless steel wire um, on a Mac mod. And this is the PMM20K fully engraved mod with a custom stab wood door and button that I made myself. Now, I've used, uh, as I told you before, I've used clap and coil, this is the one that I made myself. I used this a little bit, and this was really the max that this RDA can take. It's got a very limited airflow, so it's got like maybe a range that it works really well in. And if you put, I mean, you can put any coil in there. If you, if you like, you know, I don't know, people like to vape sometimes, hot vape, like boiling hot vape. But in my opinion, it's got a range just like that, right? Uh, for a nice restricted lung head. And so you want to put in a coil that's going to maximize that uh, range. Although you can, of course, adjust the airflow. Am I making sense, right? But oh, we'll get to that in a while. So let's squonk on this. All the way up and all the way down. No leaking through the airflow. Now you can get a lot of top caps. Uh, I purchased this one. This is the uh, Altum, Black Altum top cap. And they also sell polished Black Altum top cap. And they have uh, uh, Altum, the regular piece color Altum. And they have that in polish or matte as well. Uh, all the top caps are going to be a separate purchase. Nice. The fit on this is really, really nice. Let me show you with the actual top cap. I love it when you hear, you can hear that, you know, the click like that, man. It does have a an exposed lower deck, as you can see. So you're always going to see that satin finish right there. Um, does not come with a beauty ring, but you can always use your own beauty ring if you want to. Um, all right, so first let's talk about how much it costs. Um, the material construction here, the deck is a 316 L stainless steel, a media blasted deck and cap as you saw in the close-ups. The uh, drip tip is Delrin and this top cap is Black Altum. So this thing is made a 100% in uh, Malaysia, as it says in the base, the, the, the bottom, 100% made in Malaysia. It's actually a sense of pride for the guy who makes it. Um, it's Mr. Adrian, Adrian Ye uh, from, from Flavor, RDA. He actually has a store. If you're in Malaysia, I recommend that you drop by his store. It's called Artisan Vape. Um, I don't want to tell you the location because apparently he's going to move to a new location in January. So your best bet is to Facebook it. Artisan Fape. I'll put a link in the description box below as well to the Flavor RDA group and the Artisan Fape Facebook page. Now at his store, he has got some of the best juices. Is your one of the two stores that I go to regularly. And the other thing is that um, at his physical store, he has many uh, second-hand mods, like high-end mods. Like you can get SVA mods there. Uh, you can get a PMM mod. So if you if you want to check out some of the really nice um, high-end mods, stab wood mods, etc., uh, used ones, so that you can get a good deal, he actually has a lot of them at his uh, store, which a lot of shops in Malaysia do not. 
Right, so uh, it is made in Penang and it's apparently made in the same CNC factory that makes parts for uh, Intel, right? If you know Malaysia, uh, Intel is like the one of the most uh, well-known manufacturing or, or technology giants um, who are based, and not based, but they have a manufacturing plant in uh, Malaysia uh, to make Intel bots and they, of course, outsource their CNC uh, to other smaller companies and so this was made in the same CNC factory as uh, as uh, as same CNC factory that makes parts for Intel so the build quality is there the precision everything is there uh, but that also mean the cost is slightly more compared to um, mod uh, compared to an RDA made in China but believe it or not a lot of the high-end uh, squonk mods that you have nowadays especially certain ones from Malaysia are actually made in China and I think it's a sense of pride for him to make it in Malaysia. He wanted it to be made um, in Malaysia. So the cost is um, the cost is uh, 135 US dollars is the RRP for the flavor RDA. And what do you get for 135 US dollars? You get the RDA with the um, Media Blaster deck and the Media Blaster cap and the uh, Delrin drip tip. Now everything else is going to be additional cost. So the caps you can get the black ultim matte like what I have, black mul uh, multum, black. <laughs> black ultim matte like what I have, black ultim polish, and then you have the regular ultim matte or polish, and those are going to be between twenty bucks to thirty dollars um, you can buy the RDA from the group of course if you're in Malaysia you can drop by the store uh, the shop the physical shop and take a look at it and hopefully get well, get your RDA there as well so what do I think about the flavor RDA now like I said in the close-ups it's it's a meant for a very specific type of uh, fame the airflow holds here 1.3 times 6 3 on this side 3 on the other side really gives you a very restricted direct lung vape The airflow is pretty smooth, right? As smooth as a Le Concorde, for example, uh, but with more airflow than the uh, Le Concorde. It's almost like if the Le Concorde vapor knot had airflow on both sides. That's roughly how much airflow you'd be getting from this. Still a pretty restricted vape. Uh, so if you want to build on this, in my opinion at least, you got to match it to the RDA. Now the build I have in here, works just nice for a Mac setup and also for a MOSFET setup and it just gives the right balance uh, for me. The flavor is very very good in the flavor RDA thank god because <laughs> imagine calling your RDA flavor RDA and the flavor sucks so it's not shit as Todd would say <laughs> it's not shit it's actually pretty good flavor um, from the flavor RDA if you keep it in a certain build. Now I have tried massive coils in here. Uh, the thing is because there's a lot of room for a coil. So sometimes you may want to put a larger coil in there. But I don't think the airflow supports a much larger um, fuse clapped in coil, right? Um, because it, it starts to feel a bit choked, it feels a bit burnt. So you got to really mellow down your builds, uh, round wire, simple round wire build, simple clapton, simple, simple fuse clapton builds uh, on a Mac mod should work very, very nice. On a regulated mod, it's a whole different story because you can up and down the wattage and uh, dial it in that way. Right, so the build quality for me is a pro. It's very well uh, machined, very well finished. Um, and including the top caps as well. I only have one, but I've actually seen the others. I've actually touched them. I've actually used to touch them. Yeah, I've touched them. I have fondled them and they're pretty good. The looks is a pro for me. Right now, with so many single coil RDAs out there, no matter what you do, it's going to look like something or another. I mean, there's just no, there's, you just can't run away from that. I mean, if you want to make it 22 millimeter single coil and uh, within a certain di dimension, there's really not much options for you to, in terms of design. External design of this, how it looks from the outside, is a pro for me. I like the short profile 
and uh, I like the simplicity of it, but at the same time still has some uniqueness. Like I say again, very hard to stand out nowadays with a single coil RDA when everything looks like everything else, especially when you have all those aftermarket top caps that changes the look of the RDA. So uh, the look is still a, a pro for me, um, especially with um, this uh, finish on the external. But on the in inside, it's not that much of a pro for me. I mean, um, it looks very, very simple, very, very basic. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem, but it just looks very basic. Maybe it's some kind of other design elements that could make it look a little bit more sexy on the inside. Does it affect the vaping performance? No, it does not. It's just something that uh, I wish would, it would look a little bit more interesting uh, on the inside. Now, the other con is that it's just a very minor con, but you do have a little bit of a liquid buildup on the flat surface. I've seen this happen in other RDAs as well. Does it affect anything like the flavor, etc.? No, and it doesn't really actually, the condensation doesn't come out because there's an O-ring uh, that prevents that. So it's just a, just a little bit of condensation on the top. If you're very, very OCD, that could be something that you may be concerned about. So overall for this idea, I would give it a two thumbs up. It is uh, slightly on the more expensive side. That's because it's not made in China like most of the popular RDAs, I won't say the name that <laughs> comes out of Malaysia, is usually made in China. Well, this one is 100% made in Malaysia. Oh, Malaysia bully, Malaysia bully. So yeah, links will be in the description box below to the flavor RDA. I bought this actually about uh, two weeks ago and I have been, I, I was using it non-stop for about a week and then I, I put it in my ultrasonic cleaner thinking I'll do a review and then a week has passed. So now you have the review, like two weeks after I bought this. Now if you're looking for a good single coil RDA uh, with a very nice restricted vape, very smooth airflow, this is something that you want to check out. Wokey dokey, no more smokey. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,